We're continuing our memory series, Lloyd, with a, a program that uh, had some real hardcore fans because it was so offbeat. Its first episode aired on June 27, 1966. Set in a stormy coastal town in Maine, its gripping plot sent its company of actors time traveling from the 17th century to the future. Here's a scene from the popular serial that ran for four and a half years on ABC, Dark Shadows. Watch. Just it. This is over before it's even begun. I heard your call. I've come. I am your Josette. Please welcome the vampire Jonathan Fred and the actress known for playing a total of four different roles, Catherine Lee Scott. Have a sit. Move around here. Well. Oh, that was fun to see. Yeah. I kissed her. I thought I was going to bite her. <laughs> I did too. I was waiting for the teeth to come yeah. out. He always. Well, still he still has them, you know. Do you? You still have them. Well, yeah, I don't have them with me. But, yeah. uh, you guys did some phenomenal makeup in those oh, days yes. for I, a daytime serial. Yes. In fact, yeah. I'll have to tell you, I was one of the people who did not get her own dentist-made fangs. They used they used fingernails that they stuck on. Is that All why they look so odd? They stick on <laughs> sort of on that angle? one picture. Yes. You see, Jonathan had his own set of fangs. They were dentist-made. And they were very hard to uh, use uh, when you were speaking, so they always uh, put them in uh, when the camera was on the poor girl that was getting it. <laughs> She'd be frightened, and then I'd sub them in like this. Because this Otherwise, was... I talk like that all the time. So. <laughs> this was live, was it not? Yes, it was, it was uh, one of the, the last shows on Kinescope, the years, years after. Uh, of course, they, they could edit, but at that time, they couldn't. So we were vir virtually live. Uh, very few things were ever redone. Yeah, it was, it's very different from nowadays. They do soaps like movies nowadays, you know. But uh, so there's was, not really a very done. good record of it if it's on kinescope. Well, the, now it's playing in syndication yeah. everywhere. It's playing they, on PBS. They were stations. able to put it on tape. Yes, right? it's on well, tape. On the kinescope. Yes. Yeah. In fact, it's never been out of syndication. No, I know. I read that somewhere. <laughs> where it's really never stopped being played at some time. It, it must have been fun to do a show like that. Oh, it was wonderful fun. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, Let's talk about the terror of doing it live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Huh? Yes. That's more my thing. <laughs> absolutely. I was absolutely terrified for the whole first year I was on the show. But unfortunately, that works because I think uh, there's nothing more terrifying than a terrified monster. <laughs> and uh, I was terrified uh, every day. Yeah. And so I think it kind of worked. You know, I had that glazed look in my eye oh, at the yeah. time. You know, what comes next? Well, the so, stories are legion about live television. Uh, uh, yes. Some of the so, most wonderful stories about just mistakes that today you would stop, oh. tape, and just redo. Yeah, oh, we had okay. dead bodies move. Did you? Oh, yes. <laughs> I remember a scene I did a close-up on me here, and they were taking off my trousers and getting me ready for the next scene, you know? Oh, like Because I had to go right yes. away into the other scene. Yeah. It was madness. Oh, was we had an actor on this fun. show that had that problem. We, we were told never to take our costumes off until after the tapes had been cleared. And I went upstairs to my dressing room. I'd finished my work for the day. One actor hadn't, and there he was, standing in his socks, his shirt, and his shorts. <laughs> he just barely had time to run down, put him in front of the mantel, throw a smoking jacket on him, put a brandy snifter in his in his hand, and he played the scene from the neck up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Eva Marie Saint tells the story of the actor who, they were in the studio and the plane was supposedly 35,000 feet up, yeah. oh. and he forgot his line, and at some point got up and said, this is my stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wonderful story. You played four roles. That yes. was really unusual. Oh, very. Yeah. In fact, uh, it, the soap was really not meant to work in the first place. Everybody thought it would fall on its play face, and, and they were wrong. I started playing Maggie Evans, who was a waitress in a roadside diner, and then I played the doomed bride of Barnabas Collins, Josette Dupre, in 1795. Then I played Rachel Drummond and Lady Kitty Hampshire, who was in the late 1800s. That's four different characters. We really time It was tripped. a stock company. Yes, we were. We were like a repertory yeah, yeah, company. Yeah. I don't think many people uh, realize that Dan Curtis was the... Oh, yes. Was he the creator? Yes. Was the oh, absolutely. And he Started directed... Started in a dream, apparently. Yes. Yeah, Dan went on yeah, to produce yeah. uh, uh, Winds Remembrance. of War. Yeah, he's very busy now with Warm sequels right now. Yeah. Ah, yeah. But, you know, everybody told him he couldn't do that. He couldn't, he couldn't have an actor play two different roles, mm -hmm. unrelated, two different time periods without confusing everyone. And it became a huge success. Oh, gee, but just the idea of getting a show like this on would oh, seem yes. to me to be a yeah. major step because it really mm -hmm. broke the mold. 
oh, right, yes. right, of the genre of, uh, of daytime drama. Yeah. 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 A lot of people got their start on Dark Shadows, yes. didn't they? Can you remember I did. a few names? I did. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first job out of yeah. school, out of the American Academy. But Kate uh, Jackson also graduated from the Academy. David Selby. And, and Sir John. Oh, and, and uh, Johnny Carlin, who's now doing Cagney and Lacey, mm -hmm. just won an Emmy. And um, I saw Roger Smith. Or Roger oh, Davis. Roger Davis. Roger oh, Davis, oh, Davis yes, who was an alias a, Smith and Jones. Yes, but Ava Vigoda, Marsha Mason played a vampire girl. Mm. Um, Ken McMillan. And then I had dinner with Susan Sullivan, one of my oldest friends in the world, who's on Falcon Crest with David Selby. We had Selby. great fun with her when she got And show. we had dinner together just a few nights ago, and she loved my book. And she said, but I'm not in it. I said, well, you weren't in Dark Shadows. And she said, yes, you got me the job. I played a ghost. No kidding. Yes, so now I've, I've got to put about? her name in. Oh, it's a oh. wonderful collection of pictures <laughs> yeah. and uh, Oh, and narrative. stories, behind-the-scenes stories. Ah. The kind you were talking about before, the, the bloopers, the yeah. funny things that well, happened. When you were doing the show. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It yes. makes for fascinating reading. It's a marvelous yeah. documentary, too. Mm. She's got in the back of the book, which I think is my most favorite part of the book. It has every actor who's ever in it and oh, yeah. the parts they played now that's and, a good uh, idea yeah, it's, it's, yeah. and all the you technicians your everybody that worked <laughs> backstage it was, it's did everything. you take motion and that voice with snapshots of the well, fellow I, actors when yes you, I brought my camera to the studio with me but I also met Ben Martin my husband who's a Time Magazine photographer and his, stu his office was three blocks away from the studio so anytime something funny was happening, he came by with his camera so I've got all these wonderful photographs nice. well, so you've got your book Catherine, Jonathan? What are you doing? Well, days? I'm uh, putting together, uh, have put, uh, put together a one-man show called Jonathan Frid's Fools and Fiends. And, uh, <laughs> it's wonderful. I like it. And uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a compilation of, of short stories and poetry, Ogden Nash, Stephen King, Al Edgar Allan Poe, naturally. Some of the lighter stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fun, though. It's, it's, I mean, I have a lot of humor in it. Yeah. And uh, I'm taking it on a college tour. And I just had my first engagement two weeks ago oh, in Newport, sure. Rhode Island. And got a nice send off, nice right. review there. So I'm very happy. It's the, I've wanted to do this all my life, and I couldn't be happier. I play all the parts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah a good great. audience, aren't they? Oh, wonderful. The college audience. The college yeah. Yeah. Super. Yep. Just super. Well, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Both of you as, as thank part you. of this series. Mark Shadow, Jonathan Fred, and Kevin Scott. Thank you both. <laughs> Get ready for fun. I'm Karen Anderson. Paul.